Hello everyone, this is the Stone Tank Engine, and today I have a very special customer showcase, that being the Obigawa Railway Thomas. So the Obigawa Railway Thomas, we know him, we love him. And to show that, here's a very neatly made custom to show how he would have possibly looked in the wooden railway form. This custom is made by the lovely Sword Island Studios, who makes awesome customs. I will leave his YouTube and Twitter in the description below if you want to check them out. This item has a pretty funny backstory behind it, but I think we'll get into that more later. This custom is made from a 2003 Wooden Railway Arthur, which has definitely seen um, some better days for sure. And so it was refurbished, and now it is turned into this. Inspiration from this also sparked from the doodle made by 03 Sir Handel, who I will also leave his YouTube and Twitter below for you to check him out. Now this custom would not be a simple task, considering that the actual Oigawa Railway Thomas is based on the JNR Class C11, while Arthur's class is based on the LMS IVAT 2MT steam locomotive. So considering they were two completely different classes of steam engines, we would have to work with what we had, and so we had to take creative liberties with it as well. But anyways, here's a look at the colored running board and buffer beam. Up here we have what I presume is a safety valve or whistle and the red stripes. Here we've got the top showing the roof and the coal bunker. At the back we have just plain blue here, which I did expect the lamp to be added here, but it's not that big of a deal. Going back up here we have the smoke box with the handrails, which I presume were already in the model itself. At the front we have the actual face of the engine, which uses the 2003 new style learning curve Thomas's face, which is actually glued onto the smoke box. Jagger did ask me if I wanted it glued or not, and I said I did, although I'm kind of having second thoughts on it. Here you can see where the white running board actually does end, which is actually very interesting. On the side here we have the number, the stripes, and the cab all present, and this is also where we would have creative liberties. It's notable in the shaping of the main stripe where the number one is. Here we have the bottom of the engine, which we don't really talk about, so let's move on. Now I noticed this whenever it came in, but the smoke box is actually partially lifted up. It is noticeable, but I don't really notice it unless if I'm really nitpicky with it. Now here's something else in the front, but the little guard around the magnet is actually painted blue, I just thought I'd point that out. Now how did this custom actually come into fruition? Well, it actually started on the app of Discord. It started out as a joke that I sent him this tweet. And then we started fooling around with it. It was all fun and games until we actually got serious. And so he offered that he would make me one as a commission. And if we'd make a deal on it. And I accepted. So I was told from Jagger that the package should be here tomorrow. So I'm gonna just wait till then. Okay, so it's the next day and I did hear some mail come in. So I'm gonna go check. Okay, this is really sweet. I really like this. But uh, let's get it unwrapped. You can already see it peeping through. All right, this is actually really, really cool. They send me pictures and I'm like, oh, it's gonna look nice. I'm not seeing it in person. This thing looks really nice. Yay. I absolutely love this guy. Oh, wow. Just, wow, this thing is awesome. You already know it has that snowflake wrapping. Oh. So as I stated earlier, the face comes from a new style wooden railway Thomas. Here is an actual one to show. Which I was not really satisfied with the face. However, I think the perfect face would have actually been... The 2013 Fisher Price variant. I mean, it looks so spot on to the real one considering it's based on the CGI look. Unlike the 2003 one, which was made when the models were still around. It would fit very well, but I don't want to ruin both the custom and the Thomas, so I'll leave it as is. Anyways, I think this mighty fella is missing his friends, so let's take him back, but hold on. There's one missing. Maybe a shiny red steed? Who knows? Maybe I'll ask Jagger if it can come to reality. No, no, I know you're not trying to turn me into one of those. I mean, look at him. He's a beast. You really think my image can be spoiled like that? No, I'd rather keep my perfect shape, of course. I mean, look at him. He's oversized. He's huge. Just so, ugh. Where do I even begin with it? Thank you, James. Anyways, I think it's time for him to go on with his friends. Huh. 
<laughs> Look how silly it looks. They really want me to be turned into one of those. Huh, <laughs> that'll be the day. But well, to wrap things up, this custom was so much fun to work with, and with Jagger on this. I really honestly would love for another commission to ask soon, but we'll just have to wait and see. But anyways, as I said earlier, make sure to check out Sword Island Studios. He does make some very awesome stuff. And of course, check out Zero Threeser Handle as well. But anyways, that's all I really gotta say for now. So, thanks for watching, and have a good one. See you later guys. Peace. I wonder how Tommy got to make a literal variant of this, but we got no wooden version. It angers me so much because I- oh!